All right, Elizabeth, 30 days on carnivore. Give me some of the good stuff. The good stuff is my stomach feels good. The bloating is gone. I have more energy. I'm in a good mood. Um, everything is good. Just because we hit 30 days, I'm gonna keep going. So I'm gonna go at least until it's time for our salad garden to bloom because I'm, I want some radishes and yep, yep. a good salad. Okay, uh, how about cravings? How have your cravings been for say sugar? Because that was a big one to cut out. You know, we weren't on granulated white sugar but we were still doing honey and maple syrup and all that. So how have your cravings been? Pretty good actually. They disappeared pretty much after the second week. Okay, so have you had any any at all throughout this whole time? Uh, yeah, I want some chocolate today, but I think <laughs> it's my mind like, oh, your 30 days is up. You can eat what you want again. Yep, yep, exactly. So I'm just ignoring it and drinking extra coffee. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> what so, about you? So my stuff, my vertigo stuff is still there. Um, it's less, but it's definitely still there. So I am going to make some adjustments. And I know I have inner ear issues regardless of my diet and I have sinus issues and all of that good stuff. So food might not take care of all of that for me, but as long as it can do, you know, 30, 40, 50% better, then that's a plus in my book. And it's only been 30 days. Yes, it's only been 30 days. I am going to continue on it. Uh, at some point, I might add in some vegetables. I'll probably stay away from a lot of the fruits. Uh, but I'm trying to I, stay away from the sugar yeah. stuff with a lot of sugar in it. So what I'd like to stick to is more along the lines of what we're growing and what's in season. So if we have salad, like she said, you know, we'll, we'll eat salads. Uh, if we have radishes, we'll have radishes, beans, etc. So I'll probably stick on that Zucchini, on that for squash. now. Um, I, I did add in a multivitamin with the diet, um, just because. You know, where you don't get all the same vitamins and minerals that you typically get from eating grains and eating vegetables and fruits and all that. Or so at least we don't think you yeah. do. So I just took it upon myself to add in a multivitamin. Elizabeth did not. She didn't seem to feel any different, but we'll see after two months. Well, usually I feel worse if I take a multivitamin. Yeah. They usually have some sort of filler or something in it that irritates my stomach. And so I feel better not taking anything at all. Yep. So, okay. And it's been great. One more question for you. <laughs> If you were doing this again, you're starting over on the 30 day challenge, what would you do differently? Probably nothing. You think you, you're you happy with the outcome and how it all yeah. how it went along? I think it went great. All right. I've been getting a lot more protein and I think I really needed more protein and I really needed to get the, the sugar out of my system. Mm -hmm. Just gonna keep pushing forward. Go well, so for 60 days. There you go, guys. That's 30 days on carnivore. That'll be our final weekly update. We might do an update after 60 days and just let you know how we feel. Uh, unless there is interest. If you guys ask us, we're happy to answer, but we probably won't go out of our way to make any kind of video about it. We're just going to stick to our homestead stuff and move forward with that. Beautiful day today. We've got some sunshine, almost 50 degrees. Just got back from making our deliveries. I think we went in with 40 some dozen eggs. Pretty good. We are seeing a nice little uptick in egg production, so that's a plus. Look at it, we can see our driveway. Not a lot of snow left, a little bit of patches of ice, but not too bad. Still covered in snow up there, but it is melting. And uh, I guess I'm kind of happy that it's melting slowly and not all at once, because then we'd end up with a river in our driveway or that pond I've always wanted in the middle of my driveway. Anyways, it is still muddy. I did uh, create a little trench right here in front of this thing so it can drain to both sides. We angled it a little bit and that has helped, um, but not made things perfect. There's underneath this mud and dirt, there's still a little ice back here in the corner. So as that melts, it's gonna get muddier and muddier. And then hopefully over the next couple days, it's supposed to be pretty warm. We can get this pile of snow right here moved out of the way and then it's not draining across the road right in front of the raking house here and that will keep some of that water out of there keep some of the mud down although you can see the geese and the ducks don't care they love it chickens aren't too particular though they would like to have the grass in the front yard again but they'll have to wait Nick, are you collecting eggs right now yeah good boy thank you all right i'll grab a bucket here throw me that bucket over there will you so i can uh get them some grain maybe they'll follow me and not you Thank you. 
Come on, chickies. Come on. Maddie, look, you can see the driveway. I know. Isn't that Maddie nice? Get ready to ride your bikes, probably. Oh, yeah! Except I think your handlebars are bent from the ice. I'll we'll have to look at it. All right, let's get these chickens fed. Hi, dogs. What do you guys think? You like the warmer temps? Oh, yeah, look, look at that from the ice falling off. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm not gonna ride that bike. Yeah, can't ride that one anymore. Might be able to ride that one though. Is that the air up the tires? Can you get up? Huh? Oh, Max! This one might be good. Uh, no, you yeah. can't ride that. That is unsafe. Okay. But, we might be able to hold this. We might be able to uh, do this. Where's my helmet? Here, why don't you sit on it? Uh, oh it? god, that's weird! <laughs> nope, I'm gonna have to loosen it up. But we can fix this one. Yeah, I'm gonna fall a couple times. Yeah, you probably shouldn't ride muddy. when it's so muddy like this, or you're gonna be a mess. Because that mud's gonna come up right off your tire. And your tires are flat, so don't do it. You'll ruin your wheels. So you're just gonna wait. Oh! oh. Hey, Dad, we what? need to put I might not be able to ride this one. Why? Because brakes are broken. You can still ride it in the driveway. You don't need brakes for flat ground. Come on. Yeah. Half my bikes when I was a kid didn't have brakes. I don't like brakes, but they're good. Sometimes. You know what we use for a brake? What? We use our foot. That's what I did. That's pretty much what, what we used to or use. Or I go like this, or I use the back brake. I had a friend in Leavenworth. That's we hardly ever had brakes. And if he's watching this video, he can comment below, and he can attest to that. Did we ever have brakes on our bikes? Half the time, no. I have a question. What? Did this bend all the way back here? Oh yeah, that did bend, here. Because Let me see that. Here, hold I can fall, see myself falling down the tire. Here, sit on it so I can bend it. Oh, good. There we go. Oh, it's easier. <laughs> I couldn't do that one with these things. Hey, these chickens I think are getting upset because I haven't fed them yet. All right, put that up for now. We need to pump it up. We need to air the tires and then we need to fix the handlebars. Plus, you guys need to let this driveway dry out a bit. Too many. Mom doesn't need to wash more clothes than she's already washing. All right, come on, chickens. Hey. I also have to go and order greens today. It takes about a week and a half to get here, so hopefully we timed it right. Okay. Yes, I got your food. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. All right, chickens are fed. I need to go look at my books because I'm pretty sure I have to add a nesting box or two today. So I need to go look. Yeah, I need to add a four, and a six tomorrow. So a four, <clears throat> and a 14. A4 and A14. Let's go do that. All right, that should be plenty. We don't have to add any bedding today because it's been really nice and warm and the bedding stay dry all day. All right, we have every rabbit in here that is due as a nesting box except for A6 because she does not need a nesting box till tomorrow. And we don't have to build anymore because A9 is about five days past due. So that tells me she's not having any babies. So we will take her nesting box and we will put it over with A6. And then she will be rebred when we rebreed the, re -breed the rest of them. Chores are done. Whew. If I can navigate all this mud, man, it gets bad. At least <coughs> the snow is melting. I can be happy with that one. I can deal with the mud. Also, I noticed this morning that my tractor has a flat tire. 
And I think I've had this tire fixed twice now. So hopefully I don't have to replace the whole tire. I don't know what's going on with it, but we'll air it up and see if it holds some air.